Okay, this is a walk around and this is a pre-start inspection on a Caterpillar 336. It's a relatively new machine this, it's only done 3,000 odd hours. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is as I'm walking up, I'm looking for any obvious damage over the machine, any cracked glass, obvious damage. It hasn't been reported, which you put in your pre-start. Looking up over the boom, making sure the tops of the ramps all locators are in place on the boom. Up there, there is a locator bolt with a pin in it. And up top, I want to make sure all those locator pins are in and located. You can see if the bolts come loose because you see evidence on the paint Come, coming down. Just having a look, looking for any cracks, damage, oil leaks. Looking at the condition of our hoses. Come down, round the gauge until the bucket. We haven't looked for any obvious cracks and buckles and things. Sound a bit strange going on with the bucket there, so I'll report that. It's on both sides, but if we have a look inside, there's no evidence of anything happening there. Just having a look at all our teeth. Make sure all the teeth are in place. Nothing's moved, there's no chips, cracks. going on here. It's obviously just a wear and tear scenario but I will report that in my pre-start. This one here is a manual grease, so your grease points, a few of them on the buckets, you have one there that does both sides, another one here that does both sides. Open around to the front of the bucket, there's uh, four of them, two up top, two down below. Sometimes you go to put grease in these that won't work, you've got to manipulate your bucket so you can get grease in it. You don't have to grease it until you see grease coming out here. Top. Check your other grease points. Normally, in this hatch here, we'll find an auto greaser. But this little baby here doesn't have it, so we do it manually. We've got the grease bank there, got the hydraulic fluid. Test point there. I know it's right because I've already done my pre start. Check your extinguishers are on the green, so those are because I've checked them. Also on these powder type extinguishers, pays to get them and flip them up once a week. All the powder settles onto the bottom. Obviously my engine's in there, I've done my engine oil so I know that's all good. Have a look up top, there's no damage on lights, no cracked windows. Uh, all the windows are nice and clean. Yeah, the boom, make sure no obvious oil. All the locators are in place and there's no obvious missing parts or, or damage. If you're operating by yourself, you want to make sure you're blowing your air filters out at least once a day. I've actually done my pre-start on this, so I'm not locking it out. But in here we've got our, um, got our isolators and stops, filters, air conditioner filter. That's it right in the back there, behind the water bottle. Screen wipers, lovely breeze blowing here today, and then around on the other side here we have hydraulic oil. That's it in there. It reads low now because the bucket's up. Once the bucket's extended, you should stand, check it with the bucket extended now. That'll give you a true reading. Don't check it when it's in the position that it is now. I'd like to have a look underneath it, we're looking for any obvious oil leaks, any damage, there's a bit of scrape damage on the rear, document that, otherwise you get the blame, tracks, checking the growls, are in place, I like to do a check when I'm up, I lift the machine up and track it, you can actually have a good look at everything while it's tracking, got a rear drive, so looking for our cogs, any obvious oil leaks, on the cats, these uh, on the grouses here, these have a habit of cracking, so they need to get welded up. Um, these ones are all good. I have had a walk around it. Other things, you've got your caster rollers, which are the sides that do chip out. Your front wide roller, they can tend to chip in around the edge here. Just keep an eye on it, take note. And also checking for correct track tension. Track tension's looking good on this. Just 
still looking around, always keeping an eye out for any oil leaks or any obvious damage on the windows, mirrors, scratches, dings on the side. Same thing on the other side, taking note of any, any uh, footrests that are damaged, handles that are damaged, making sure that your whole points are secure. Got uh, this machine's got three standard stops on it. E stops inside the cab. The service maintenance sticker. All the things we need: Got your stereo, must do, radio. Um, with a window washer up there because we need that for having nice clean windows. I've done that this morning and uh, Right, so you're happy Get in put your seatbelt on which I'm not doing because I'm just showing you guys around the inside Okay, you started a lot of the cats You gotta wait for five ten seconds on the high touches and so forth this one here just start straight away turn the key Start. We want to make sure we've got plenty of fuel in there, which we have, it's full, but at the beginning of the shift we don't want to run out. That's a drama. On the pre-start box. Alright, so we're going to operate. Once we're happy with everything, there's your uh, ground engaging ground engaging tool lockout. Make sure that is disengaged. And then uh, just a basic run through bucket. Stick up, stick down. Oh, actually, this machine here, you got a um, an auto idle. This one's on here. Around here, it's only soft digging. It's only lime, so I don't run it on full tilt. It doesn't need it. But um, we got boom up, boom down. Back it out, back it in. Let's stick in, stick out, stick in, swivel to the left, swivel to the right. To this control here, stick out, stick in, swivel to the left. Swivel to the right. When you're uh, tracking one of these machines, I've observed quite a few people, uh, they use these handles here, don't use them, bad habit to get in, use your foot, because if you're using your hands, you can't use your controls. So, because you've quite often got to use them to, well, you do you use them together all the time. So, uh, there's just a basic um, rundown on a walk around on a 336 cat. Um, look, all the cat series down to the 10 tonners, right up to the uh, 385s. It was the biggest cat I've actually been on. Um, they'll work pretty much identical. So, uh, there's your basic rundown on the cat.